What's going on guys, it's Brandon back here again today for my third take of this video. I've already run through this video twice and neither time did it work for whatever reason. It just would not load onto my YouTube channel. So both of those were yesterday and now I'm going to try again today. The career of Marion Hosa. Marion Hosa, a Blackhawks player that played during my lifetime. He's already a, was a first ballot Hall of Famer in 2020. And I just so happen, wait for it, to have his jersey right here. It's a youth, youth small Reebok from my childhood. Got Marion Hosa on the back. There it is, number 81. My dad's second favorite player of all time. I, okay, good. I didn't like break that. Um, let me just put this back on the hanger. Uh, screw it. I'll put that. I'll put that back later. Anyway, the 1997 first round uh, pick, 12th overall, is Marion Hosa, one of the highest Slovakians probably ever taken. Besides, uh, Jager was Czech. Gabrick would be taken third overall, and then, of course, recently you had Slavkowski and Nemec go one and two. But Slovakians were never the highest prospects, but there were some good ones. Zdeno Chara, of course, he's going to be in the Hall of Fame as soon as he's eligible. Um, Gabrick was a very good player. Slavkowski and Nemec picked one and two. They might be Hall of Famers. We have no idea how their careers are going to go. Um, other Slovakians, I'm trying to think of off the top of my head. Um... Tom, Tom, Thomas Kopetsky, who was on that same team and also signed by for agency by the Hawks that year. Uh, they won the first Stanley Cup in 20, 2010. But anyway, going on back to Marion Hossa. So he's, he's drafted 12th overall in 1997 in the first round. He makes his debut that same year in 97-98. Seven games, no goals, one assist, one point. No games played in the playoffs, even though Ottawa does score a huge upset against New Jersey that year in their first playoff series win. 1998-99, his first consider full rookie uh, season considerably. 15 goals, 15 assists, 30 points, and 60 games played. He's on the first all-rookie team in the, that year. In the, in the playoffs, four games played, no goals, two assists, two points. So, good start to his career there. He's, not, he's on the first all-rookie team. And then we get into 99-2000. Ottawa becomes a very respectable team around this era, and they consistently make the playoffs. The problem is, they have a fellow... A pro pro provincial fellow team in their province. I I'm not sure how to phrase it. A fellow team in their province who also just so happens to be a playoff team, and um, they take him out of the playoffs a lot. In 2000, that starts. 1999-2000, he plays 78 games with Ottawa, 29 goals, 27 assists, 56 points. And the, and the uh, playoffs, six games played, no goals, no assists, no points. So a bit of a disappointment there for Hosa. And um, the... the Leafs in that series in uh, uh, over the Ottawa Senators. It would be the first of many. And I just realized I forgot to add some stuff here, so let me just quickly add this. Yup, 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 and yup. All right, just need to add those cups. So let's put this marker back. Moving on. In 2000-2001, 81 games played. It's the most games he's played so far. 32 goals, 43 assists, 75 points. He plays in his first All-Star game that year. In the playoffs, four games played, one goal, one assist, two points, as they are once again knocked out by Toronto. 2001-2002, 80 games played, 31 goals, 35 assists, 66 points. And in the playoffs, he plays 12 games, so they make it to the second round. Four goals, six assists, ten points, before they're taken out by, you guessed it, Toronto. Toronto used to be able to win series pretty easily as long as it was, it was Ottawa. That's why they haven't been winning series recently. They haven't been playing Ottawa besides they, they beat Tampa recently, but yeah. Um, exactly. And during that season, Hosa is involved in a very scary incident. Um, it's not with him personally, but the player that the incident happened with. As Hosa follows through on a shot, brought the defenseman Brian Berard also played for the Blackhawks. Probably do a career video on him soon. Um... He, he Berard is in the way of um, a follow through that he takes, and on the follow through, he his stick goes right into Bedard's eye, and Ber, not Bedard, Berard. Berard is left after many surgeries, almost completely blind in that one eye, and um, it was a very scary injury. Even and I have utmost respect that he played another six, seven years in the NHL, and um, the former first overall pick. Uh, that, uh, Ber 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 Berard, yeah, I keep trying. Which one is it? Berard was a former first overall pick, and his he was already he was having a great career so to, to begin with, and then that eye injury kind of made him slow down. But he still kept playing, he still kept going, and even with one eye, he was able to play on the ice. And I have utmost respect for him. And I, it was a complete accident. Hosa didn't do it intentionally, and um, it was just a complete 
horrific accident that no a host apologized immediately. Like, it was just an awful thing that ha- happened. And it was unfortunate. But anyway, both of their p- careers would go on for quite some time. Hosa much l- longer because he was younger, but Berard had already been in the league, I think, for that point, almost 10 years, I think, nine, eight, nine years. So he would play another five, six, seven years in the NHL as well. So that's very good for him. 2002, 2003, it's the big year for Ottawa. 80 games played, four, 45 goals, which is fourth in the league for Hosa, 35 assists, 80 points, makes it to the All Star game. And then guess what? They don't have to play Toronto in the playoffs because Philadelphia takes care of them for them. 18 games played in the playoffs, 5 goals, 11 assists, 17 points, as they are this close to the Stanley Cup Final. Game 7 against New Jersey, they lose, and we could have gotten a precursor to the Ottawa-Anaheim Final in 2007. This could have been the first, that could have been the rematch, and Ottawa against the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim, could have that, that final could have happened in 2003. And that would have been pretty cool if you ask me. 2003-2004 would end up being Hosa's last year with Ottawa. 81 games played, 36 goals, which is 6th in the league, is where at the height of the dead puck era. 46 assists, 82 points, 5th in the league for with that point total. 7 games played in the playoffs, 3 goals, 1 assist, 4 points, as they're once again knocked out by Toronto. Yeah, 4 times in 5 years they were knocked out by Toronto. If, you, if, if Ottawa fans did not hate Toronto at this point, I don't know what, what would make them. So... The lockout happens in 2004-2005, and before the 2005-2006 season gets started, a trade is made. Danny Heatley is acquired by the Ottawa Senators in exchange for Greg DeVries and Marion Hossa. Heatley had an incident, a drunk driving incident, which got a teammate killed, and he needed to get out of Atlanta because he was haunted by the memories, and fully understandable. Um, of course, Heatley and Hossa, they, would have, they were putting a very similar point totals, I'd say, both of them were very good players at the time. People can joke about Danny Healy. I was never one to do that. Growing up, I kind of just saw his stats, and I just like, oh my gosh. He had 50 goals in 06, 50 in 07, of course. Danny Healy, all-star, because he was a legitimate all-star. He was one of, I would say, a top 10 player in the league in this era. And um, it's just unfortunate what would happen the rest of his career after his first year in San Jose. But, um, yeah. And, of course, this benefits both teams as... Atlanta gets Hosa. Did I say Winnipeg? I meant Atlanta. Hosa um, goes to Atlanta, has an immediate chemistry with Ilya Kovalchuk and Danny Heatley. He goes on to play with Spezza and Alfredson in Ottawa, and they have fantastic success on both sides. 2005-2006 with Atlanta. 80 games played for Hosa, 39 goals, 53 assists, 92 points. It's a career high right there, but it's Atlanta. They don't make the playoffs. 2006-2007 would be Hosa's career year. 82 games played, 43 goals, which is 5th in the league, 57 assists, 100 points, which is 6th in the league, makes the All-Star game, and Atlanta makes the playoffs for their only time in in existence. And guess what happens? They get swept in four games by the New York Rangers, no goals, one assist, one point, and they went all in that year. They got Keith Kachuk, they got a few other guys for they sold out a bunch of their prospects to get some more experienced guys. And they got swept by the Rangers, and they were the higher seed as well, which was, I, I, I kind of laugh at that. It would be, be the beginning of the end for the Thrashers. 2007-2008, still with Atlanta, but his last year with Atlanta. 60 games played, 26 goals, 30 assists, 56 points, makes the All-Star game. But he doesn't make the playoffs with Atlanta because A, they don't make the playoffs, and B, he's traded at the trade deadline. Uh, he's traded with Pascal Dupuy, yes, the one that was in Pittsburgh for the next 10 years, um, for Colby Armstrong, Eric Christensen, Angelo Esposito, and a 2008 first-round pick, which became uh, Danton LaVale. I don't know, but this is one of the most lopsided trades, I'd say, of my <laughs> of my existence. Hosa goes to Pittsburgh because he wouldn't re-sign in Atlanta. He doesn't end up re-signing in Pittsburgh either, but Dupuy is there for another 10 years which is crazy if you ask me. And they got Colby Armstrong, who is a good player. I'll give him that. Christensen never developed. Angelo Esposito never developed. And this 2008 first-round pick I've never heard of. So with Pittsburgh, after the trade, he plays 12 games, 3 goals, 7 assists, 10 points. In the playoffs, Pittsburgh goes on a run to the Stanley Cup Final. 20 games played, 12 goals, 14 assists, 26 points. And they lose in Game 6 of the Stanley Cup Final to the Red Wings. Osa had one OT winner in that run. It would be uh, in the second round to eliminate the Rangers. And, um, yeah, so Hosa 
not feeling that Pittsburgh can get it done, signs a one-year, $8 million contract with Detroit. And in 2008-09 with Detroit, 74 games played, 40 goals, which is fifth in the league, 31 assists, 71 points. She's a second-team All-Star that year. 23 games played in the playoffs as they go to the final. Six goals, 19 or nine assists, 15 points. And they lose in Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Finals to Pittsburgh. So he goes, he goes to Pittsburgh, loses to Detroit in the final. Goes to Detroit, loses to Pittsburgh in the final. And then he just says, screw it, I'm signing with Chicago a 13-year contract worth $5.7 million per year. 2009-10 is that first year. He has so, so shoulder surgery to start the year, so he doesn't start the season until around mid-November. 57 games, 24 goals, 27 assists, 51 points. And the Hawks go on a run in the playoffs, and he's a big part. 22 goal, games played in the playoffs, 3 goals, 12 assists, 15 points. And he wins his Stanley Cup. Three different teams gets it in the third year. Third time's the charm. And you, those three goals, I remember each one of those that he scored. He scored in... Game 5 overtime against Nashville. That was that big game. The Hawks were down with a minute to go. Hosa took a five-minute major. Um, not, it wasn't ejected, though. And he, he killed, they score shorthanded with, a, with 13 seconds left. Then they go to overtime. They kill, kill off the penalty. Hosa comes right out of the box, goes to the front of, net, front of the net, and he scores. And they end up taking that series then in the next game in six. At the end, he scores a goal against Vancouver, and I believe it was it was either Game 3 or Game 4. I don't remember which game it was, um, because they just dominated Vancouver in Vancouver. And then in the final, he scored the time, uh, the the opening goal of Game 2 against Philadelphia. Didn't score many goals, but he was passing the puck quite a lot. 2010-11, 65 games played for Hossa, 25 goals, 32 assists, 57 points. In the playoffs, he played 7 games, 2 goals, 4 assists, 6 points. And another thing to point out about Hosa here, Hosa was kind of one of, like, in Ottawa, he wasn't considered the guy. You had Alfredson, you had Spezza, you had Hosa, you had a bunch of guys surrounding this. You had a ton of depth in Ottawa at the time. They were a fantastic team. In 2003, they won the President's Trophy. Um, and then in Atlanta, he kind of, him and Kolchuk are the guys. There's, like, no one else surrounding them. So as he's got crazy point totals, but they're not getting any results. And then he goes to Pittsburgh. He's with Crosby and Malkin. So he's not considered the guy, but he's there's a bit of depth around them. Detroit, he's one of the guys. There's a ton of depth there. But Chicago, he's no, he's no longer front and center stage. Taze, Kane, he's kind of in that same level as Sharp uh, and Hosa. Taze, Kane, Keith, and you have Sharp, Hosa, Seabrook. That's kind of that second layer of depth right there. And that allowed, that's what that's what the sign of a very dangerous team when you could have those that elite second layer of depth. 2011-12, it's a very interesting year. 81 games played for Hossa, 29 uh, goals, 48 assists, 77 points as he drinks from the fountain of youth after being in the league for about 15 years. He makes he plays in the All-Star game that year. That would be his fifth and final, I believe. Yep. Three games played in the playoffs because in Game 3 against the Phoenix Coyotes, Rafi Torres throws a nasty headshot at Marion Hossa. He'd done the same thing against Brent Seabrook in the year previous, and Hossa's knocked out. He's stretchered off, and... They could have used him the rest of that series. Um, he, only, only, he took he needed a lot of time to recover after that. Three games played in the playoffs, no goals, no assists, no points. Hawks go on to lose that series and makes me hate Rafi Torres even more and wondered how he was still in the league as long as he was. 2012-13, Hosa, it's a lockout short in Europe, but and Hosa recovers from his injury, and he has a fantastic start to the year. He blew up at the start of the year. 40 games played, 17 goals, 14 assists, 31 points. Most of those are probably in the first 24 games of the year. 22 games played in the playoffs, 7 goals, 9 assists, 16 points. And he gets a second Stanley Cup. He is injured for one of the games against Boston in that final, but he did come back. Allowed Ben Smith to get his name on the Cup, so I, I admire him for that. You know how much I love Ben Smith. Anyway, 2013-14, <laughs> 72 games played, 30 goals, 30 assists. Would be his fi final 30-goal season. 60 points, um, 19 games played in the playoffs, 2 goals, 12 assists, 14 points as the Hawks lose in Game 7 against L.A. when they should have three-peated. We're not going to talk about it. We're moving on to the next season. 2014-15, 82 games played, 22 goals, 39 assists, 61 points. Goals drop off, but assists go higher. Thir 23 games played in the playoffs, 4 goals, 13 assists, 17 points. And guess what? Another Stanley Cup for Marion Hossa. He loves this contract, and it's paying him well, and it's paying off for him because he's getting his championships. 
2015 16, 64 games played, 13 goals, 20 assists, 33 points. Seven games played in the playoffs, three goals, two assists, five points, as they lose in game seven against the St. Louis Blues. Nearly pulled that comeback off. 2016 17, 73 games played, 26 goals, 19 assists, 45 points. Four goals, no assists, no, four games played, no goals, no assists, no points, as they are surprisingly and embarrassingly swept by Nashville when they were the first seed in the West. And we didn't know it at the time, but that would be the end of his career. See, Marion Hosa developed an allergy to his equipment that went, that wasn't talked about until the next season. He was allergic to his literal own clothing that he was wearing on the ice, his equipment. And um, he had been playing through it for years. He'd been taking medication and stuff, but it was getting to the, to the point where it was overbearing. And he decided to eventually go on LTIR, but essentially unofficially retire. And um, it had already been 20 years since his draft year, and his contract did not expire until 20, the 2021-22 season or after that season. So be- right before this upcoming season, that's why you saw him like officially retire and like get his number hanged just now because like he wasn't officially retired yet, even though he was already in the Hall of Fame. And um, it's unfortunate because he could have played a couple more years. He really could have played a couple more years, got his totals boosted up even more. I'm not saying the Hawks would have made the playoffs in the next year, but it would have been a big help if he was still in the lineup. Um, having Sharp and him in that lineup still probably would have helped a great ton. Now, let's look at the total of his, totals of his career. 1,309 games played, which is 65th all-time. 525 goals, which is 36th all-time. 609 assists, which is 92nd all-time. 1,134 points, 60th all-time. In the playoffs, 205 games played, 18th all-time. 52 goals, 59th all-time, 97 assists, 28th all-time, 149 points, 31st all-time. He's up in the Hall of Fame class of 2020. He was for a first ballot, so, well, along with Jerome Ginla, Doug Wilson, I believe it was that class. And before, not even, after his career is done, he's actually traded one more time. He's traded to the Arizona Coyotes for, with Hine, Vinny Hinestroza, which I was upset about, Jordan Osterley in a 2019 third-round pick in exchange for the return of Marcus Kruger, Mackenzie Entwistle, who is still with the Hawks, I'll give him that, Jordan Maletta, never heard of, Andrew Campbell, never heard of, and a 2019 fifth-round pick. I, I would say I'd give Arizona this trade because of Vinny Hinnestroza, but Entwistle has been around with us for a while, and Hinnestroza also did come back, so I, I don't know. But they just got Hosa's contract. He never ended up playing for them. He was just part of the contract. Um... But, yeah, he also represented his, team, his country in the Olympics. Says he went from Slovakia. He represented his country in there, the World Championships, Olympics, uh, World Juniors, I presume, when he was younger. I, I didn't actually look. I just know I saw Olympics and I saw World Championships. And then, of course, he was on Team Europe in the World Cup of Hockey back in 2016. But that's going to be all I have for you guys today. I hope this print this actually turned out because the last two times it just did not work. It just said error, error, and that was a pain. I also got my Vegas Golden Knights merch. I'm not wearing it in this video, but I got the Western Conference Champion shirt, and I got a Stanley Cup Champions hat, which I have right over there. And, um, yeah, I was wearing it in the previous videos, and I was just, then I was just like, no, I'm not doing this again, so whatever. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Down below, uh, Tell me down below what you thought of Marriott Hosa. Um, where do you think he had his best years? Because you could argue Ottawa, you could argue Atlanta, you could argue for the one year in Detroit, you can argue some of his his time in Chicago as he was not the as an old as an older more experienced player he was a great two way player as well I'll give him that but that's that's going to be all I have for you guys today I want to thank you guys so much for watching I'm sorry about the delay it took to get this video out once again have a good day goodbye